welcome back to the LNX Files and Merry Christmas. So if everything goes well, I am in New York right now. I am pre-recording this in the city of Los Angeles and hopefully Mr. Peach and I have made it safe and sound. Yes, I have his dog food propped up here because he's being a bad little boy and he won't eat his food. But we are here today to do a week ahead read for all 12 signs of the Zodiac for today, Christmas Day through New Year's Day. Yes, our last stretch of the holiday season for all 12 signs. So if you hear a lar, so if you hear a mechanical engine, they have been cutting trees outside my window all day long. I thought I'd start recording once they stopped, but they don't want to stop. They might never stop. So here we are. Okay, as always, watch the clip for your rising sign as well as your sun sign. And now, uh, my Aries sun and my Aries rising signs. Oh, okay. Um, so you got the three of swords. So yes, this is a card that classically comes up when there are like affairs or there are side dudes, side chicks happening while a monogamous relationship is going on. So that is the classic interpretation of this card. Okay, so just something to be on the lookout for. You know, I got to do my due diligence as a reader to bring that up. But the basic meaning of this card just means, you know, third party causing drama. That's, that's the basic way to interpret it. Uh, this could be a nosy neighbor. This could be a colleague. So many of us are going to be around family in the week ahead. You know, it could be just like a sibling who is inserting themselves into your marriage or to your relationship or to your relationship with mom or dad. So there are so many ways that this could manifest in the week ahead. And so like Aries folk, you know, I know that emotions can be a little more challenging for you to process. Um in general. And so I would just say take this time to set boundaries and to make more I feel statements. Like I feel blah 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 when this happens or that happens. Like I feel scared. I feel worried. I feel apprehensive. I feel denigrated or dismissed or something like that. And you know, and just guard the things that are important to you. And Aries, that you are great at. You guys are fantastic about that, about, you know, protecting what you love. And so if someone's trying to ruin that, then I would say, all right, it's time for you guys to do your ramrod thing that you're so good at. But if you're out there letting someone stomp or trample on or you know, subvert something that is precious to you, be it like a romantic relationship or a relationship with a family member or a colleague or whatever, then I guess it's not that important to you and it's time, you know, maybe to reevaluate it. Okay. All right. And now my Taurus folk and my Taurus rising signs. Okay. So you guys got the nine of wands. So for most signs of the tarot, so for most signs of the zodiac, I just wanted to check on Mr. Peach, see how he's doing. He's taking bites. So for most signs of the Zodiac, this is a... Let's get it into focus. Yes, so this is a card that essentially means wait and see. So it's a card that indicates, hey, you've planted all of your wands. You know, you're hardworking. You did a pretty good job. You fought your battles that you needed to fight. And now all you really have to do is just sit back and, you know, see where the cards are going to fall see, you know, how the dice are going to roll out. And so for a lot of signs, that's a very frustrating notion, but not for you, Taurus folk. Like you guys are very patient. You guys have all the time in the world or so you act, you know, there's no hurry for anything. So I would say guys lean into that sense of patience of just like, oh my God. So I would say for many of you guys, just lean back into that sense of patience, your ability to watch and wait and to observe and just be like, okay, now we just, you know, watch the paint dry. So whatever it is, like this is the week, you know, for that, for you to lean into that superpower of yours, okay? And not try to rush things or hasten things or force things or control things. So that's cool. All right, now my Gemini folk and my Gemini rising signs. Okay, so you guys got the six of wands. Upright, yay, hooray. So I'm very happy for y'all. That's great. So I'm very happy for y'all. That's great. You know, like I said, in the last few weeks, I feel like you guys have gotten some very tough cards with a few reprieves. So you are, yeah, you're going to feel victorious. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel like jubilant in the week ahead. 
For some of you, there might be a concrete reason for this, and then for others, it may just be because you're happy, you're with family or friends. If you're not with family or friends, please give yourself license to just do whatever the heck you want to do. You know, some of my friends in LA are just hanging out, you know, some of them are hanging out in groups, some of them are hanging out alone. And the ones that are hanging out alone are like really making sure that they do whatever the heck they want, you know. They're going to buy that designer $88 hot chocolate in Beverly Hills or whatever you know what I mean and so like take this week ahead to just you know revel in that very fast high vibrational excited airy energy that Gemini's can you know generate so much and this may also call, you know call upon you to share uh your war stories with people to share your advice to share your insight with others because you guys are so chatty and you you know when you discover something that works it often is like usually very brilliant so do that in the week in this week ahead okay and now my cancer folk and my cancer rising signs oh okay all right so four of swords i noticed thus far we've gotten no reversals and i'm totally cool with that so four of swords so you guys um are just going to rest you're going to be in your cave and you are going to rest and recharge this is a nice simple card so what this indicates to me is like cancer folk you love your family you love your friends you love your home you love the whole holiday things many of you guys are nesters so you like to nest but do take some time for yourself to just you know really recharge alone in a little space by yourself um, so this this next week ahead, like do the whole thing that you want to do with the holidays, be it be with family and friends, but like definitely take time to be alone and to be quiet with yourself because it's going to start giving you some very valuable insight and perspective that you're going to need in the week ahead. So do that. That is a must for my cancer folks. Okay. All right. So far, so good for everyone. All right, now my Leo folks, my Leo rising signs, another great card. All right, so we got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a card of legacy, of generational wealth. So, you know, many of you are going to be with family or your chosen family. You're going to be with friends who feel like family. And this, it, there's going to be a sense of wealth and abundance in the week ahead. And th this could be literal material wealth. You know, some of you might be doing very well financially or have family members who are doing so. But I mean, it's going to be feeling very abundant and very comfortable and very safe and very much like, hey, we've all, we're all part of something that's like bigger than us. We're all part of something that's going to like live on past us. And that's really great. And that's really special. And so... This card, because we have in this card the ancestor who's just kind of sitting back, you know, and watching everything, like, this guy is one of the people that created it, you know, and we, oh my god, this dog, and we don't know if he's actually there or if it's, this is just representing his spirit, but I think, you know, I like to think he's actually there because the dogs are giving him attention, but then on second thought, dogs can also see ghosts, so I guess that's neither here nor there. So take time to, you know, give deference to any of the eldest members of your tribe in the week ahead you know the grandparents that are still living the great grandparents that are still living you know it started with them and they've seen some shit folks they've seen some shit so definitely like spend you know time talking to them listen to their stories ask them questions ask them for advice give them deference in the week ahead if you are able to do that because the, the universe likes to see that so they will bless you for doing that and also it's just a good idea for us not to be shit you know okay papa he just wants to be a bad baby he stuck his paw in his food that's fine that's fine we can live on without him all right and now my virgo folk and my virgo rising signs ouch okay so People sometimes freak out when this card comes up, but I'm just telling y'all that, like, Ten of Swords, okay, not terrible. Like, I've gotten this card before, and it just means that, like, for my Virgo folk, I want you to be on the lookout just for, like, a disappointment in the week ahead. And just keep in mind, this card is over dramatic for a reason, okay? And there's a new dawn on the horizon for a reason. Like, it can feel like the world is ending, but it's not. So with this card, it's a reminder that like, you know, just one sword could have killed this person, but here we have 10. So, you know, like I said, I've gotten this card before. I lived through it. Others, you know, I know have gotten this card before. We've all lived through it. So just keep in mind that like in the holiday season, not everything is in our control. You know, we can't control other people. 
you know, we can control our reactions, but, you know, precious little is under our complete control. And so if you get some bad news in the week ahead or if something unexpected happens, just know that, like, sometimes, you know, a setback is actually a setup and that whatever happens, like, you're going to be okay, my Virgo folk. And you guys have a very sharp analytical mind. You guys are excellent problem solvers. You have excellent attention to detail. You notice everything. So you're a good, sturdy earth sign. So don't freak out. I'm, I'm sure, like, whatever happens, you're, you're going to handle it. You're going to bounce back. And with this card, also keep in mind, like, sometimes the guides will pick a card for a sign that they just, because it concerns an issue, that they want you to pay attention to. So for some of you Virgos watching, something like this may have already happened, kind of, and the guides are like, yeah, you're going to still be processing this in the week ahead. So, all right. Okay, now my Libra folk and my Libra rising signs. Okay, so we got the Knight of Wands. So this card is great. So this is, uh, this is a person of interest who's going to be moving closer to you or could represent you. So the Knight of Wands is the young man with a plan. So the Knight of Wands is the healthiest expression of the Knights. This is a young man that wants to do things, wants to accomplish things, and has the means to achieve them. So this could be you. So the guides are saying, hey, while everyone's drinking eggnog, you can still, like, get things done in the week ahead. Like... Don't get distracted. This can still be a week where you meet your goals and achieve your goals and get closer to your goals. So that's excellent. So that's absolutely excellent and wonderful. And there's no reason why you can't move full speed ahead on that. Um, my Libras and my Libra Risings. And also just be more aware of who you're crossing paths with in the week ahead because keep in mind that other people are valuable and they have insight and perspective and, you know you might meet someone who can help this young man with a plan. This could represent you or someone in your life. Now, if, if you don't have plans or goals or objectives, keep in mind, this could just be like a person of interest. Like this could re represent your crush and they're moving closer to you in time and space. And I'm totally here for that. So yeah. Well, it looks like Mr. Juicy wants to come back. Oh my God. So Mr. Juicy has come back. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Now my Scorpio folk and my Scorpio rising signs. Okay. So you got the world. So this is ironic because the world does represent travel. This can, as I've said before, the, the guides are very literal at times. Sometimes they'll just be very literal, you know? Um, and the world will sometimes just literally represent travel. I'm traveling this week. Some of you may also be traveling this week. So I'm getting on a plane tomorrow, but today is Christmas day. So I'm already at the destination that I hope that I'm at. So, I hope so. There's a winter storm, you know. Anyway, so this is a card that can represent literally travel, but it also represents karma and sometimes the, the full reckoning of karma. It's, in my mind, the Wheel of Fortune is the bookend to this card. The Wheel of Fortune is the 10th card of the tarot and the world is the 21st card. And so to me, the Wheel of Fortune has to do with like the, the wheels and the turning of karma. And this to me often represents the full circle of karma. And it's ruled by Sat, and this card is ruled by Saturn. And Saturn's, you know, the planet of no joke. You know, it's of rules, regulations, you know, discipline, hard work, time, setbacks. I mean, it's a serious heavy hitting planet. And with a card like this, you know, they're observing you. Like these uh, figures in each of the corners, the which represent four of the signs of the zodiac, the Leo, the Taurus, the Eagle, Scorpio, Virgo, the Virgin. These are representing, you know, our guides who are watching us and recording the laws of karma. And this is also a card of pressure because, you know, there's a clear boundary here that can represent, you know, the boundary of the womb the boundary of the egg for the little chicky to crack through and break through and, you know, live its life as a chicken. I hope you guys really like this metaphor. So this is a card of like possibilities and it's also a card of like unlimited potential, but it's also a card of like, you know, the full reckoning of karma and you starting to see the fruits of that in your life. So it's, it, it's very positive. Okay. All right, and now my Sagittarius folk and my Sagittarius rising signs. Okay, so Ace of Wands in reverse. So Sag folk, hold off on that thing you wanted to do, okay? So upright, this is a card of like the match striking the side of the box and it's like, 
that spark, that flame, that beginning of something, okay? The beginning of a path, a journey, a possibility. Not yet, okay? Just like this is not the week to start your new app, to start your new startup, to start the cupcake truck. Like, don't do it, Sag folk. Like, just hold off. This is a week for planning and organizing and getting advice and help from others, okay? So if you have something you want to start, and if this is just about matters of the heart, oh, you want to, like, hook up with your crush, find out more about your crush in the week ahead. Like, just hold off. Like, let's all just chill. Like, not yet, okay? This is a nice yellow light from you guys, from the universe, saying just do more planning and preparation before you move forward on that thing. So this is a time for y'all to chill, okay? And I know how good you, my Sag folk are at chilling, so go and do it. Now my Capricorn folk, and my Capricorn rising signs, oh, this is so darling. So you guys got the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is a card of uh, the beginning of a very special partnership. And so this is a partnership of equals. So this is a card that classically comes up with the beginning of a new romantic relationship, for sure. I see that all the time. But it could also be any other special par uh, partnership. It could be a work partnership. It can be a, you know, a bocce ball partnership. It can be a partnership between, like, you and a, a teacher, you and a therapist, you and your new nutritionist to help solve a problem together. So there's something very sort of, like, celestial about this partnership. Like, you guys have been brought together and that this is important. For some of you, it's going to be the returning to a partnership that you haven't uh, seen in a while. So like in visiting family and friends and being around, you know, familiar faces, like you may be uh, nostalgic for an older partnership that you haven't, you know, had in a while or that you haven't had time for in a while. And this is kind of like a reconnecting of that. So you may have that sense of like reconnection, reconnecting with someone special you know, with your equal in the week ahead. And that's, this is beautiful. And just keep in mind, this card, the Two of Cups, this is not like the happily ever after card. This is the beginning of something or the re-beginning of something if you're, you know, meeting up with an old flame. Um, so it, it's promising, you know, these cards don't always end up uh, in a happy ending because this is the Two of Cups and then the Ten of Cups is all the way over here. So it's like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a lot you have to go through before you get to the happily ever after. But this card has an enormous amount of promise to it. Okay? All right, that's cool. All right, now my Aquarius folk, my Aquarius rising signs. All right, this is nice, nice and simple. So you guys got the sun. So my flatmate, so my flatmate is an Aquarius and she is going to have the house to herself for a full week without me. And so this is what this card clearly represents to her because she loves it when I am out of town. So good for you, Laura. Enjoy. So this card is just like, yay, happy, yay, happy. I, we did it. So it's a card of optimism. It's also a card of like clarity and things not being murky or hidden or obscured anymore. So with this card, sometimes it's just like you're you're gonna get the information that you need. Th this card does have a shadow side to it, you know, sometimes the guides will use this to mean like, you'll see, because keep in mind, the sun can sometimes be blindingly hot. It can be, you know, so blinding that we have to shut our eyes, it, like the, the, what it shows us is too much. And so, you know, I famously got this card when I was like, oh, I had a crush on a guy named Trevor. I was like, oh, would Trevor and I ever end up together? And I got this card. And the guides were like, you'll see. And then I saw that Trevor was like actually a raving psycho and like maybe kind of a dangerous person. And I was like, never mind about Trevor. So anyway, so, but for the most part, this is a very positive card. It's like, woo, you know, like the champagne bottle opening up and you're like, woo. So enjoy those woo moments in the week ahead, my Aquarius folk. Okay, usually you're very good at that. Okay, and now my Pisces folk and my Pisces rising signs. Okay, so Pisces folk, you got the Four of Wands in reverse. So Four of Wands upright, it usually has to do with relationships or your home life coming together. You know, just sort of like coming together and things becoming more stable, more serious, more permanent, more substantial. Because now you have Four of Wands. You can build a table, a chair, a ottoman what a bookcase if you need to 
So in reverse, this suggests that things at home or in your partnership are destabilized to a certain extent, or they're just like a little rocky or wobbly, or they're in some ways subverted. So for some of you, this may just mean like you have a house full of like really rude house guests who are like, you know, breaking things, or things are just kind of weird and chaotic. And for some of you, it may just mean like, yeah, things at home are kind of weird and chaotic. It's the holidays and things are just kind of weird. So what I would advise my Pisces folk to do is to, you know, navigate the week ahead. Use your superpower. You guys are Pisces, you know? You're the most psychic sign of the zodiac, I would say. And so just tune into that superpower and just really think about, you know. So use your intuition. Uh, use that highly sensitive radar that you have in here to intuit how, why people are behaving the way that they are and, you know, what they really need and what the best thing for you to do is. And just keep in mind you're not responsible for the feelings or emotions or actions of other people and just... Let that, that razor-sharp intuition be your guide in the week ahead. Okay. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. So, you know, some of the signs got some tricky cards, but I would say the bulk of you guys got, like, great cards, and me included. Amen to that. <laughs> amen to that. Like, girlfriend needs a break. Like, girlfriend needs a vacay. So, Mr. Peach and I wanted to wish you guys the most Merry Christmas, and Mr. Peach is still a bad baby, and he won't eat the rest of his food and he's juicy and smushy thanks guys for supporting this channel this year and yay